Mad Canada is proud to launch an exciting new school program for elementary students in grades four to six. Introducing Smart Wheels, a mobile classroom experience created to empower young people to make a difference and be the generation that will choose not to drive impaired by drugs and or alcohol. A recent survey showed that use of alcohol and cannabis starts as early as age 11. Mad Canada believes that training on the dangers of impaired driving has to start early, in grade four, so students learn to understand the choices they can make before they're put in a position to have to choose. We want to get to that age group before they've even started experimenting. So starting in grade four and five, we hope we'll educate them before they're introduced to alcohol and drugs to make the smart choice, right? Peer pressure is going to come along and we want them to think about, you know, what it means. If we give them the right tools, we think they can make the smart choices. Smart Wheels is an impactful, interactive 45-minute class experience that engages young students with lots of fun and exciting elements, including vibrant HD widescreen video. On individual tablets, students answer a series of multiple choice questions that tests their knowledge of impaired driving before tabulating and comparing class results. With an engaging and knowledgeable Mad Canada presenter facilitating, Students use the tablets to experience a series of real-life situations where alcohol or weed is involved. Technology enables them to choose their decisions about impaired driving and fully explore the consequences both good and bad choices can make. Instead of somebody just telling you not to do it, you can see why not to do it and you can see that the driver was putting others in danger. It actually shows you what the risks and the consequences are of driving impaired. Students love putting on virtual reality goggles to experience firsthand what it feels like to drive impaired by weed and alcohol. My favorite part of the whole presentation was the virtual reality. When you look around, you can see all your surroundings and it felt real. It's really cool that you get to experience what it's like. I know what it's like now to drive impaired, and I think it's really bad. Students also learn about the real pain and heartbreak that impaired driving causes in a heartfelt victim story from Dylan Krill, a young man who lost his two best friends in an impaired driving crash. I got woke up with the news. My dad came into the room crying. I didn't believe it at first. I just wanted to go and see Mason and Devin and ask them if they were okay. But after time, it finally hit me that I wouldn't see my best friends ever again. With these powerful interactive lessons, students come away from smart wheels with a better understanding of impaired driving and emerge better prepared to make sound choices in the riskier teen years that lie ahead. Fully accessible, the Smart Wheels classroom can seat up to 40 students per class and can accommodate up to six classes per day, meaning approximately 200 students a day will be able to experience the program. In Canada, road crashes are the leading cause of death for 16 to 25 year olds, and alcohol and or drugs is a factor in over 55% of these crash deaths. It's critical to start educating students before they become drivers, before alcohol and drugs take on a bigger presence in their peer-pressured teen lives. If we teach them about the dangers of impaired driving at a young age, and then reinforce these lessons year after year, we will empower students to make better choices about impaired driving in their later teen years. These lessons will save lives. I think it's great that they're put in a situation where they know they have to make difficult choices and peer pressure is one and we talk to them that they have a voice and speak up for themselves. But the big thing I think they take away from is through the virtual reality and the effects that impairment has on you and it's not just that you get dizzy or you get tired and it puts encapsulates everything to show that one simple choice can have a huge effect. It's our hope with the Smart Wheels program that kids who experience it will go home talk to their parents, talk to their friends, and as they grow up, they use the tools they learned and they choose not to drive impaired when they get older and they make smart choices about alcohol and drugs. And so we can create a smart choice generation who is the generation who doesn't drive impaired. For more information on the Smart Wheels program or to book the mobile classroom for your school, contact Mad Canada.